During the reign of the Galactic Empire, the most famed and significant achievements of the New Order's military belonged to its top admirals of the Imperial Navy, who often overshadowed the efforts of the generals of the Imperial Army that served alongside them. However, there was one general who not only was like the throne of the Imperial Army when it came to his achievements and devotion to securing victory, but was perhaps the most widely decorated and esteemed war hero of the Empire throughout its entire existence. His name was Hurst Romadi, and his successes on the battlefield inspired an entire generation of young Imperials eager to follow his example. Romadi was born on the mid-rim planet Matacorn of the Lambda Sector several decades before the fall of the Republic. Once he became a young man, he joined the planetary security forces, soon serving in battle as war broke out in his home sector when Aqualish colonists on nearby planets sought to gain full independence from their homeworld of Ando. Romadi stood out for his bravery and courage during this local conflict, which ultimately resulted in him being promoted as one of the very first non-clone ground commanders of the Republic once the Clone Wars broke out 17 years later. Throughout this galaxy-spanning conflict, Romadi continued to impress his superiors in various battles, most notably in the Battle of Maigito, which saw some of the most brutal fighting between Republic and Separatist forces. Following the rise of the Galactic Empire, Romadi was immediately promoted to the rank of general and given command of the 10th Sector Army. Now, with full authority of his own ground forces, Romadi was given the opportunity to show the galaxy the true extent of his leadership abilities as a military officer. Alongside Admiral Screed's naval fleet, General Romadi served in the Seutric Offensive Campaign, reconquering systems still held by separatist holdouts and criminal organizations, including pirates and slavers. Of the entire reconquest of the Rim operation undertaken by the Empire during this period, the Seutric Offensive was arguably the most successful campaign in its swiftness and effectiveness. This was the result of the tight coordination demonstrated between Screed and Romadi of their respective forces, an uncommon feat, as the rivalry between the Imperial Army and Navy were often known to cause friction between their respective leaders. In less than a year, both Romadi and Screed eliminated all resistance found in the northern sphere of the Empire's borders. This achievement led to both men being hailed as heroes within the core worlds, with both being regarded as masterful conquerors by Imperial High Command. Their reputation soon saw their talents requested by Moff Tarkin to aid him in pacifying the western reaches, and it was in this campaign that turned Ramadi from a hero into a legend. The western reaches was the largest and final campaign of the reconquest of the Rim operation. Unlike the Seutric Offensive, which largely saw resistance from slavers, pirates, mercenaries, and separatist forces led mainly by surviving corporate leaders. The Western Reaches was to a great extent occupied by diehard believers of the separatist cause. Not only was the bulk of the remaining holdouts concentrated in this region, but their numbers only increased as the other areas of the galaxy were pacified, with survivors fleeing to the Western Reaches to make a last stand. To make matters even worse for the Empire, a significant portion of these planets were fortified with planetary and city-wide shields forcing the Imperial Army to engage with the Separatists in close quarters combat without the aid of air support from starfighters or capital ships. Even Darth Vader had difficulty in subduing some of these holdouts in the limited engagements he saw in this region. Although all these factors would have intimidated most other generals from participating in the campaign, Romani not only took the lead without hesitation, but demonstrated a level of determination unmatched by perhaps any other Imperial commander. Taking command of an A-9 Floating Fortress armored transport, Romadi led his ground forces from the front, giving his orders from an open hatch as he would literally full send towards the enemy. Due to his proximity in the battle and field of view from the transport, he was able to swiftly adjust his tactics in the heat of battle and boost morale of his troops who saw their commander in the line of fire alongside them. As the campaign continued, Romadi began to lose his hearing due to frequent exposure to artillery shell explosions. Rather than listen to his peers, who recommended he should withdraw himself from the front lines, Romadi instead had his eardrums surgically removed and replaced with cybernetics, allowing him to continue his efforts without having to worry about going deaf. During one of the last battles, Romadi was ambushed and left severely injured from a nearby grenade explosion. Left blinded and having his body just barely intact, Romadi was rushed to a Bacta tank to keep him alive, while a transport was ordered to retrieve him for off-world medical care. 
yet Romati refused to leave, and he instead continued to command his forces from the Bacta tank. Despite holding on to his life by a thread, and requiring his subordinates to describe the details of the battle unfolding in real time due to his loss of sight, Romati was able to achieve victory. Afterwards, he was rushed to intensive care, with doctors just barely saving his life. Due to his injuries being so grave, reconstructive surgery still left him looking terribly scarred, and cybernetic eyes were implanted to return his sight. Nonetheless, Romati became a galactic hero on a scale never seen before, with parades being held in his honor upon his return, and his legacy of bringing order to the galaxy cemented in history. Years later, hollow films of his legendary battles were made, and his unconventional tactics on the battlefield were taught in Imperial academies across the galaxy. Following his recovery, Ramadi retired from the military and became a senator of his homeworld in the Imperial Senate. Although he was well respected by his fellow senators due to his military service, it soon became clear that the psychological trauma he experienced in the war prevented him from fully focusing on his senatorial duties, with him resigning after a single term to allow someone better suited to serve in his place. Afterwards, Romani retired for a brief period before being requested by Grand Moff Tarkin to serve as his adjutant. By the time of the Death Star's construction, Romani was made the Battle Station Operations Chief and served as an advisor to Tarkin on military affairs. By this time, because of his war trauma and old age, Romani was undergoing dementia. It got so bad that fellow officers began to question Tarkin of the old general's reliability, which had the Grand Moff aggressively defend Ramadi, bringing up both his courage and extensive military expertise, which in itself speaks of Ramadi's credit that someone like Tarkin, known for having zero patience toward incompetence, still saw worth in a man who was barely coherent half the time. As the few moments when he was lucid, Ramadi's expertise on matters was invaluable. Romani's fate afterwards is unknown, as his story ends following the destruction of the first Death Star, yet his death on it was not confirmed. However, in canon, he did survive, making him the second known survivor of the Death Star High Command alongside Cassio Taj. Although the full extent of his military career isn't well known in canon, Romani was well respected by his peers, including both Tarkin and even Emperor Palpatine. His bravery was well noted, with him still willing to take a fight with his own hands despite his old age. He deeply respected the men who served under him and honored those who died under him greatly. He was also known for mixing his calf with alcohol at his old age. His story in canon is still ongoing, with him living past even the Battle of Hoth. Currently, he is in command of the main Imperial forces engaging with the recently re-emerged Crimson Dawn.